Okay, so let's continue editing our annotation symbology. Let's go to Drainage, View, Annotate Structures, and from the drop down list, let's choose Manholes, and let's come down to ID, click in the Show column, it's already there. Let's put that in position 3, just like we did the inlets, and let's come down to our inverts, invert in, click in the show column, and our prefix invert equals, and let's put that in position 2, our invert out, we'll put invert equals, and let's put that in position 1, and we'll click apply, and you see now our name and our inverts are labeled. Now let's straighten up that text a little bit for our manhole and and our inlets. Okay, first of all, let's go down here to manhole and let's make our text match the others. So 0.05, 0.04, and down here in the rotation box let's enable the absolute angle and leave that at zero we'll click OK click apply and you see now it's been rotated and let's do the same thing for the inlets let's double click on inlet absolute angle zero OK apply and yeah, we got a little bit of overlap there but we could adjust that. Uh, let's go up to our inlets and see where we set our inverts. What positions? Invert out at position one. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's click close on that. And our annotate structure tool doesn't always give us all the information we want. So, Let's create some drafting notes. Let's go to Drafting, place Plan Note, and let's expand the existing folder, and let's uh, let's label our pipe with our ID. We'll choose that note. Click Apply. Click the element, data point to accept, and it puts a label. Okay. Now let's create our own custom drafting note. I'll go up here and click on this folder, right click, select new, note, and I'm going to label, let's call it name equals, and then let's come down here, expand the storm and sanitary, and we're going to label our pipes. So let's come down to pipes. Let's come down to ID. Double click on ID and you see the ID shows up. I'll hit enter and let's label the material equals. Let's come down to material. Double click on that and material shows up. Now let's go to settings and we're going to label it by element. Uh, our text symbology. Let's yeah, let's choose plan notes, I guess. Uh, frame. You can put a circle or a box around it or whatever you want. We'll just choose none for right now. Leader type two point and a terminator filled. And when we're done setting those settings, let's click OK. And we can rename it uh, name and material and yeah, let's pipe name and material okay with that note selected let's click apply we'll click our pipe element data point to accept and there's our name and material oops you want to say oh yeah let's let's go ahead and save our drafting note file since we created our new note uh, let's go to drafting place plan note again let's choose our 
name and material actually we can get rid of the uh, the pipe name and just call it name and material and that way we can label anything well, let's label our manhole data point to accept name manhole one material existing concrete reset to get out of there click close and let's go ahead and save our drafting notes file again and now our existing drainage network is annotated and when you're done annotating come up here file save drainage data and that's how to annotate the drainage network